Welcome to the Sprinkles of Spirit podcast with Lisa Yoga Angel. I'm Lisa and I am your host. I am a yoga and meditation teacher from South Florida with a lifelong passion for personal growth, mindfulness, and spirituality. And I am so excited to start this journey with you this year as I have been inspired to create a space where we can connect and receive a weekly sprinkle of positive energy, divine guidance, and to spark a conversation about how to cultivate self-love, confidence, and faith through living a well-balanced life in our mind, body, and spirit. Stay on the path with me to be uplifted, feel empowered, and to strengthen the connection between you, your higher self, and the universe, which is always speaking to us. I am so grateful you are here, and I look forward to building this community and to helping you remember you are exactly where you are supposed to be, and you are loved beyond measure. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Thursday. And welcome back to the summer manifestation series that I've been doing. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Manifesting is such a fun topic. And I had all these ideas, like so many different uh, things to talk about and share with you that I broke it up into a summer series. So But first, let's uh, breathe together. Let's get fully present in the here and now and really let go of our week, let go of your day, let go of whatever happened and get quiet, you know, create some sacred space, maybe light a candle, grab your journal and, you know, make this like your little special time for yourself, you know, to receive your angel message for the week and something positive, you know, to raise your vibration. So wherever you are, please close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale out of the mouth as you feel the shoulders soften. Relax your whole face. Relax the jaw. Letting go. And we're breathing in through our nose. And slowly open the eyes. Okay. Thank you always for that. Today, I'm going to get right into it. I wanted to talk to you guys. So manifestation, right? We're on the journey of it. And I am a big music lover. And when I meditate, you know, I've I've talked to you about meditation, and visualization, and really marinating in the feeling or the emotion that your new reality will bring you. And there's something I think that even takes it up a whole up level set that experience. You can up level your experience with music. And I often, nine out of 10 times when I meditate, it is, uh, if not a guided meditation, it's to music and specifically a a certain solfeggio uh, frequency. And I'm going to get into that because I've learned a lot about it. And I want to explain to you, and I have learned, um, this from my teacher, and I know I've mentioned her to you, um, <clears throat> Athena at Sage Goddess. So backtracking to 2020, I took um, I took a sound healing course and got certified in sound healing. And I really learned even more about the power of vibration. And I experienced it, but really, you know, learned kind of the science of it, the history of it, how it really truly affects the, the body, the physical body, our mental body, the emotional body. And it is 
powerful. So I grab your journal, take some notes on what I'm going to go through with you in this time today, uh, because this is, this is powerful. And each solfagio frequency hertz um, can really be a powerful addition to your meditation or sound healing experience. Um, it can accompany and really go with whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you know? And all right, so let's get into it. What well, What is the solfagio frequencies? So... <clears throat> They're different hertz, right? And HZ, hertz represents the smallest unit of frequency. So the solfagio sound, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little throat thing this week. Um, well, lately, right? I think I said that last time too. <laughs> I've been cleansing and clearing, you guys, all kinds of stuff. Okay. The solfagio sound uh, patterns range from 174 to 963 frequency units or Hertz, right? And forming a, you know, a spectrum that really has been shown to have a powerful impact on our well being. So I'm going to dive right into it and start with explaining to you a little bit more about the history. So the sulfagio frequencies the scale um, were developed from a scale that came from 1000 AD. And they come from a Christian hymn that was known to be sung by John the Baptist. And most of the frequencies reduce to three, six, or nine. And I'll have to do a whole episode on numbers. It'll blow your mind. It's, it's unbelievable. Numerology and yeah, numbers and spirituality and how the universe uses numbers is, it's just mind blowing. I love it. And so one of my favorite quotes by Nikola Tesla is, if you want to understand, if you want to understand the universe, you must understand three, six, and nine. Okay. And we'll get into that uh, about the numbers. So we're going to start with 174 Hertz is the lowest of the tones on the scale and this particular one works like a natural anesthesia and it really help can help relieve emotional and physical pain, including back pain, leg and foot pain and migraines. And I also want to say, if you're looking for any of these certain frequencies, just go ahead on YouTube because you can, you can find all of them on YouTube. Um, I tend to find them there. So this particular tone can also increase your focus and concentration. And speaking of the chakra system, it connects you to below the earth, which is called the star chakra. So really to the planetary core, it really connects you to the planetary core and the core of the earth, right? Can be viewed as the source of all creation, right? So yeah, we're going to go up the scale of the chakras. So if you missed it, I have an episode explaining the chakras, kind of like a 101. I think it's episode 11. I'll link, you can check that out. So moving up the scale is 285 hertz. So this frequency can help restore diseased tissue and really regenerate cells in the body. And it's particularly helpful in healing, uh, topical wounds such as burns or cuts, and it can really leave your body feeling rejuvenated and energized. And this one is connected to the earth star chakra, which is right under your feet. Okay. Moving up, uh, 396 Hertz is known as it, it liberates you from fear and guilt by kind of searching out and releasing hidden blockages that are limiting, having you hold limiting subconscious beliefs. So it really can be used as a tool to, you know, get you back to reality and, you know, remove what's blocking you um, energetically. So 
connected to the root chakra. So think safety and security. If you're wanting to manifest a, a better sense of safety and security, this is a good frequency to tune into and really release any guilt or fear um, that you may have. Okay, moving up to 417 hertz. This frequency opens doors to personal improvement and it produces energy to really bring about change. And it can decrease effects of any traumatic experiences like PTSD and really cleanse past life karma. So this frequency is known to help with infertility lack of sexual energy, uh, really connected to the sacral chakra. So think creation, right? Um, it's a D note. Um, oh, and I think I missed that, right? Oh, so going back to the 396 hertz, that's a C note. 417 hertz is a D note. So think of really letting go of just big T or little T traumatic experiences with this frequency. It's beautiful. Okay. Moving up. This is one I listen to quite often. I, I just, it just resonates with my soul. Um, and in manifesting meditations, I, I really, I tune into this one. It it's powerful and it is 432 Hertz. So it's the original sonic frequency to which all instruments were historically tuned for the most beautiful affecting sound. So this number 432 is found repeated within our physical form throughout the world and across the universe, which I, it's just mind blowing to me. It's found in the measurements of major celestial bodies, the core of our mathematical theorems and the root of our musical scale. So it's like, it's just powerful. And I really connect to this one. And this one is known as the God frequency. It will connect you with all chakras, opens and aligns all of the chakras, uh, you know, from the planetary core all the way up to the star gateways. So it's really designed to make you just give you like chills up and down your spine. And I do feel it. Um, yeah, this is a, just a powerful one. And it's connected with the, the sound of God or Om, right? So 432 hertz. Okay, so moving up, we have 528 hertz. Uh, this one has been connected to bring about remarkable change by returning DNA to its original perfect state. So it really is the musical mathematical matrix of creation and their frequency of love. So connected to the solar plexus and it's really connected to, it's the frequency of our human will to survive, you know? And when we think about solar plexus, think confidence, courage, your will, right? Your will to survive, willpower. Okay, moving up, we have 639, 639 hertz. Um, it's the fa tone on the solfeggio scale. And this really enables the, uh, you to have harmonious relationships by encouraging the cell to communicate with its environment. So it really enhances communication, relationships, understanding think compassion and connected to our heart, our heart chakra. This, this is the heart chakra. So think if you are someone who really wants to manifest love, a loving relationship or deeper friendships and connection, or really call in your soul tribe, 639. Okay. Moving up to 741 Hertz. Uh, this is known as the soul tone S O L it it helps you solve problems with clarity and with grace. And it really will lead you into the power of your self-expression and which results in a more a stable and peaceful life. And 
Uh, some people believe it can cleanse the cells from electromagnetic radiation and toxins. And this note, again, one of my favorites, and I really resonate with it, connected to the throat chakra, and I work on my throat chakra a lot. And this is the note G. And one of my singing bowls um, is attuned to the note G, throat chakra. Also known to release um, any energy of having a cold or a flu. All right, and moving up to 852 hertz. This raises awareness and, you know, we're going higher here, right? We're up to the third eye chakra, connects you to your third eye and really allows you to return to spiritual order by enhancing your ability to see through the illusions of life and really opening up a channel of communication with spirit. So this is third eye chakra work. This is intuition work. If you really want to connect with a deeper sense of your intuition and really open up that gateway to receive downloads, to receive guidance from your angels, your spirit guides, 852 Hertz is powerful and it's the la tone, which helps you see the hidden needs of other people. And this is particularly a helpful frequency for doctors, therapists, Reiki practitioners, and light workers, because it really allows you to see, right, what's going on, to see what that soul really needs, that person you're working with. So beautiful. It's a really beautiful, helpful frequency for healers uh, because it can reveal to you the origin of disease, you know, and bring that information to you. And it is the note A. So that's a powerful, powerful one. I love the higher ones. I really connect with the higher ones. And here we are at the highest one, 963 hertz. And this is known to decalcify and activate your pineal gland. So your pineal gland, that's your intuition, really opening up that third eye and connects you to spirit and really allows you to experience the oneness in our true nature. This is the crown chakra, and this removes the blocks and the illusion of separation. It reminds you that you are not separate from God. And manifestation is really co-creation. And that is the highest frequency, really bringing you back to that oneness and know and remember that your life is a beautiful piece of art and that you are co-creating with your creator, you know, the creator of your own understanding that speaks to you. So 963 Hertz will take you there. So try working with these frequencies this week while you're we're on our manifestation summer series, you know, what it is you, you want to experience the new, what you are trying to manifest in your life, you know, try working with these, bringing these frequencies into your, your meditation, into your visualizations this week and journal how it made you feel, you know, each one, try a few different ones and see how it made you feel. I would love to hear how that worked for you. Um, it's really powerful. Just the vibration of music and frequency is something that lights me up. I am a music person. It changes almost instantly my mood. It can change my mood almost instantly and really raises, uh, my vibration, you know, from the lower to the higher almost instantly. I just, yeah, love, love, love music and sound healing. Sound healing is something that I'm so grateful came into my life and, you know, and it's a gift. It's a gift you can give yourself. So if you've never experienced sound healing, highly recommend it while you're going through your manifestation journey with me this summer. Okay. Let's see what your angels have for you this week. Our sprinkles of spirit card. 
is, so your angels are telling you this week is every day is a chance to begin again. And your affirmation this week is I release the past and welcome the dawning of a new day filled with possibility. So remember, if you, let's say, maybe you've tried manifesting, you know, in the past and it hasn't worked out, this is your angel saying, every day we can begin again, every day you can re- release what didn't work, release the lessons of the past, you know, look at that sunrise and remember it's a new day filled with possibility and every day is a chance to, tr- to create, every day is a chance to get in touch with your spirituality and to let go of limiting beliefs that are holding you back and lowering, lowering your vibration. Every day is a chance to begin again. So write that down in your journal this week. Let that be your mantra. You know, I begin again today. It can be something as simple as that. I begin again today. Yeah. And just let go of what didn't work and know What's meant for you cannot be lost and it's not a secret and what's meant for you will always find you no matter what. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, please re- leave a review. I would be so grateful if you would leave a review. If you're enjoying the podcast this year, Um, I'm having so much fun with it. I would be so grateful to hear your thoughts, your suggestions, anything about how uh, your experience, you know, this year with me and uh, follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration. I am at Lisa Yoga Angel and also Sprinkles of Spirit for the podcast and tune into YouTube for yoga, meditation and more to keep you on the journey of living a well-balanced life in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit. So thank you. Until next time, have a beautiful week. Namaste. Namaste.